Alright guys, so this is a very, 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 very quick tutorial on the application lifecycle uh, in LibGDX. So if you open up a, your project, then, and you go into the game screen, you'll see a lot of stuff, you know, a lot of methods that are already there for you, like render, resize, show, hide, pause, resume, dispose. So I'm just going to teach you through uh, what, what those actually are, and the, the life cycle of your application, how it works. So this is what happens. Your application starts it runs the create method which is actually found here then it passes the rest of the methods onto these screens so it, it runs the create method uh, and then it runs the resize method any resizing stuff it needs to do but we're going to be using our own ways of resizing shit so i'm i'm just going to kind of hide this down below where i can't i don't have to you know i don't have to worry about it then the application starts running um and it'll run this render loop, it'll just keep on looping through rendering and it'll just start, you know, render all your graphics and update all your code, etc, etc. On Android, there's pause and resume though. That's just for Android. Um, so if you're not working with Android, then uh, feel free to like uh, hide these pause and resumes uh, somewhere. But on Android, uh, if you, you know, again, incoming call or home button or whatnot, then it'll automatically pause your application. Um, so, you'd basic what you what, what would you want to do is basically just automatically send it to the pause screen, uh, and then when it you know when you go back you know when it regains focus go back to the application and then yeah it'll start running again. When it closes it runs pause on the Android, but then it also disposes. Uh, dispose just gets rid of any you know crap. The show and hide method. Uh, I'm not too sure about hide. I've, I've never used that actually, I'm going to admit that right now. The show method is literally a method that runs once as soon as your game's initialized. Um, I usually use this to have like opening uh, effects and transitions and shit here. I usually have them here, so yeah. But I'm not going to use hide, so that can go away as well. That's pretty much it for the life cycle. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye bye.